Hello, this is an overview of how you can use the OCM data to build cities, like here in, in real, for example. So all these buildings and streets are generated from OCM files. So here's just a very small part of what could be a very large city. So we have the streets, we have houses, we have different houses. So as you can see here, we have different versions of the house. We have also some props along the street. So we have trees or these uh, stone parts here. So we can do a lot of things here with this OCM data. So everything starts here on this website where we can basically search what area we would like to have data from. Then I'm going to use this information from this website to load in Houdini and to create a setup like here. So you see all the points and each, the, each of these points are then used for instancing of my modular models. So all the buildings and streets are made out of modular models. So here at the top, this is my information from the OCM files. Then for this tutorial, I'm going to cut out a little piece to work with, just so this is calculating faster. Then here from this information, we can do a couple of things. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to generate the buildings from this. So in here we have a node that can generate these blockouts. Then we also have a tool in the lab tools to generate our buildings. So we can use our modular models and it will generate buildings like this in this case, which is very useful. And then we repeat this process for all the buildings until we got a nice finished look. And as a result of this loop, I'm going to use points. So like I said before, these points are then represented by instances. So each point is a modular model instead of a unique 3D mesh. Then further, what we can do also here is we can use the road tool. So it can generate a road for us, as you could see over here. And also the intersections here are the unique parts. And then the parts that are straight are then using a modular kit as well. So that's also possible. Then further from here, from this row tool, we can use all this information that it outputs to then further create something like this. So we have a pavement and borders and so on. Then the last step here is then placing down some props, which is also being represented by points. So we can place points specifically in certain areas to calculate where props should come. So combined everything together is then this result with the building, roads and props. And then we use in Unreal, we can use the plugin from Houdini to then open our file. And we can see that everything is then also being instanced. And we can also add parameters if we want to, to have also control here in Game Engine. So that was it for the overview. I hope you will be start watching the tutorials soon. Thank you for watching.